One of the goals of the designers of Visio 2010 was to add more structured diagramming elements to Visio, things that had gave drawing more meaning and were hard and fast features of the product. And one of those features is containers, which allow you to group related sets of shapes together. I'm going to show those to you right now. So to create a container, just go to the Insert tab, and you'll see the container drop down in the Diagram Parts group. If you click this, you'll see a gallery that gives you a choice of several styles of container. And the container is just a box that you can move around and resize like any other Visio shape. But the special feature of a container is that you can add other shapes to it. Now you'll see as I drag this shape in there, there's some orange highlighting around the edge. And that says you're adding the shape to the container. Now once I've done that, when I move the container, the shape goes along with it. But I can easily grab the shape and remove it. There's no so step of grouping or ungrouping. Just by proximity and watching for highlights, I can add shapes to my container, just like that. Pretty neat. Now, you'll notice that if I click on the white areas inside the container, nothing happens. And that's a special feature of containers that make it easier to draw a net around member shapes inside the container and do things to them. If they didn't create this feature, then every time I tried to draw a net, I'd actually select the container and move it. So if you want to select the container, make sure you click on that border or click on the header. The header is pretty easy to get to. You'll notice that I can't really make the container smaller than the contents. As I drag, it just kind of stops. The text's out there, so that's a little bit of an exception, but that's a pretty nice feature. And if you duplicate containers, one way I like to do that is holding down the control key and just dragging, kind of a pretty standard Windows type functionality. You'll notice that all the contents of the container go along with it. I didn't have to select all the shapes first and duplicate them. I just had to duplicate the container. And you also notice that if I select the container and delete it, all of its contents go away as well. So something to be aware of. In many instances, that's a lot of work saved, but it could be a lot of work destroyed too if you're not careful. So luckily, we've always got undo up here if you want to go back. But I think it's pretty cool that you don't have to select all the individual bits to get rid of them. Just do that. Now, what happens if we, we've got our network shapes over here, we're really happy with the way they're configured and arranged, but we don't want this container anymore. Well, we can drag them all out and then delete the container, but maybe we like the position that they're in, so what else can we do? Well, one thing we can do is right-click on the container and say, oh, look, there's a container menu with several sub-items. And these items can also be found on the Container Tools Contextual Ribbon tab, which you'll see up here. And these are a little bit nicer because you get big fat buttons and icons and things like that. And one of the features I wanted to show off is the Disband Container feature, which allows us to delete a container without deleting the content. So let's click on that right now, and you can see, sure enough, the container's gone, and we didn't lose our contents. Now, if we want to add these guys to a container again, we could try adding a container and slipping it under there, but it doesn't seem to work. So another way to do that is to right, uh, select your shapes, and then right-click them, and notice that there is a container menu item, even though these shapes aren't containers. It has only a couple options, and one of those is Add to New Container. Now, when we do that, we've slipped the container right underneath the shapes. And the other option is what we just showed, where I insert a container, and I move it underneath some shapes, and it doesn't pick them up. Well, I can I'm just shift-clicking these shapes, right-click, and say, well, let's go to Container Tool. Let's see. Let's move this window up because we're not inside the, the video. Right-click, Container, Add to Underlying Container. And now they belong to the container. So several ways to, to manipulate containers, to delete content, to add existing shapes to containers, slide containers underneath existing shapes. And of course, you can always go to the Container Tools and use Live Preview to change the 
style of the container. You don't have to delete and re-add. But really powerful feature, really exciting. I'm hoping to discover new uses for containers in the coming months because I think it's a pretty cool feature. But once you know where some of the little subtleties are, it makes it a lot easier to use them. Thanks for watching.